And even with the increased testing efforts that we are seeing, things are still not going in the right direction here in the state of Florida. My co-anchor Ryan Bass joins us now. And Ryan, our cases are climbing and they are climbing fast. Yeah, Caroline, I mean, we tested nearly 900,000 people this month, so you're bound to obviously find more outbreaks of the virus when you do that many tests. But positive cases, as you mentioned, are skyrocketing up 219 percent over the last two weeks, according to COVIDExitStrategy.org. And this should give you an indication of just what I'm talking about right here with this massive spread. Here's a timeline of the growth of the virus in the state of Florida. It was slow at first. It took us 83 days to surpass 50K. 30 days later from that, we hit 100,000 cases. And now just eight days ago, we were at that total, and now we are over 150,000 cases. And we're not the only ones that are going through this, by the way. Here's a graph of today's new cases from COVID Tracking Project. The usual hotspots seeing big spikes in cases. So that's California, Texas, Arizona, and Louisiana. And now many of those states are rolling back some of their reopenings. Arizona just shut down bars and gyms for 30 days. But our governor has made it clear, Florida won't be shutting down again. We're not, we're not going back, closing things. I don't think that that really is, is, is what's driving it. I mean, people going to business is not, uh, not what's driving it. I think when you see the younger folks, I think a lot of it is more just social interactions. And so that's natural. Obviously, you had a lot of different activities going on in different parts of the state. Uh, Memorial Day, the two weeks after Memorial Day, you know, we saw a lot of stuff going on. And the data supports what the governor is saying there, because the median age of those testing positive the last two weeks has been 37 and younger. So people that are out and about. But now we've got an even bigger social holiday on our hands. July 4th is this weekend. Of course, our beaches are staying open here in Tampa Bay. We'll see if that drives our caseload up even further in the weeks to come.